Hello, it's Indy Tommy from Indy Tommy Tips. Here's my second photo restoration example. This one's on how to tweak an old photo and add a new background. Here's a photo of a bride and groom. Looks like it dates back to the mid or late 1950s. When we look at this photo, we really can't see what's going on in the background behind the scenes because look, it's nothing but a dark void. We're told that this picture of the bride and groom is the only picture that this family owns. The photo is probably two and a half inches by three inches and they wanted it blown up to an eight by 10, which I really don't recommend because whenever you make something that's small, that's not really that clear and you blow it up, it starts to pixelate and deteriorate. And I brought it into Photoshop. Now we're gonna need a canvas. And just for canvas sake, let's bring one up in Indie Tommy Blue. This is an eight by 10 canvas. But the photo on top of it's only, again, it's only two and a half inches by three inches. It's very small. So we slowly push the size of the photo brought it up closer to scale. This couple's washed out because they were in a dark environment. And when they were hit with a big one-time flash bulb back in the 1950s, that, that intense quick light would shut down the camera's iris and blacken the background and it would all become dark for a split second. You can see her dress is kind of washed out and this tuxedo shirt is blown out from the flash too. This photo is kind of muddy, but when we added these enhancements, the floors showed even more scratches. So I cut them out electronically and changed the mid-range iris level to show more detail in her dress and in his white shirt. So I knew they were married in a Catholic church and I found this one online. This photo is certainly not from the 1950s, but at least I can utilize the pews and the floors and the altar. We uh, cloned out the younger bride and groom, changed the flowers on the altar, and we took the earlier photo and I placed it in front of uh, the new background. I showed it to my client and she loved it. I said, do you know the actual name and location of the church where your parents were married? She said, yes, I do. It's, it's in a church in Philadelphia but it's been closed for years. And uh, when I searched for the church online, I actually found this old inside view of the church and the altar, but look at the vantage point that it's at from the balcony standpoint. The challenge would be to make a composite mix between uh, what is seen from the balcony and from the ground level and mix it together so it looks like it's from the same perspective. Now this photo has a harsh orange cast to it and I needed to decrease the color tones to complement the original photo. So I started moving the master saturation down along with some other levels and filters. We took the background and blew it up, changed the opacity a bit for reference framing, kind of lined it up with the perspective where the bride and groom stood from the ground level position, edit, transform, scale, and apply. Later, not shown here, we removed most of the people in the lower third. So my client comes to my office. She freaks out. She starts crying. She really likes it a lot. If you folks like what you're seeing here, and you would like to watch me do a photo restoration in real time, maybe in a program one day, I can uh, use the same photograph or, or a different one, and we can mix it together, maybe in a three-part series, uh, 15 minutes each. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm Tommy from Indie Tommy Tips. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.